Okay, we're on base, and uh, I've got it paused from the previous video, and uh, I want you to—I want to point out this uh, lake over here. That's my clue as when to turn final. When that gets a, uh, to my left, it is time to turn final. Um, noting that my airspeed is good, noting that my both of my flaps are down. And so this turn is also going to be level in the sense that I, if I descend a little, that's okay. But I want my airspeed to be uh, between 60 and 65. It's currently 60, so here we go. Okay. Power back up a little bit. Airspeed coming back. Altitude is looking fine. Now, if I look out to my left here, I'll be able to see the runway. There's the runway. And you can see, oh, don't get too high. Back down, keep my airspeed up a little bit. Power back just slightly. Okay, now we're good. I'm going to trim here. Now, as that lake disappears, it's about time to turn. Okay, so we're going to turn final. Okay, nose down. Turning final, slowly, nose down to, whoops, not too much bank, just 15 or 20 degrees of bank is more than enough. And we'll be looking, we probably will angle a little bit to the runway right there. Okay, now's the time to pull back the power and get about a 500 foot per minute rate of descent going here and hold about 60 knots. So there's 500 foot per minute rate of descent power back to about 15 or 1400 and you can see the Vassy lights are white we're angling into the runway air speeds back down to closer to 60 powers coming back a bit more turning toward the runway one mile final runway zero five and there's four flight telling me I'm one mile out and that looks about right so my power is back and I'm still slightly high, but I prefer being high than dragging it in. As you'll see as I come down here, my airspeed will stay about 60. I'll touch the power in to about 1400 RPM. And I'm aiming short of the runway until I can see a red Vassy light or Pappy light that is. And so my aim point is short of the runway. And I'll come in on an angle where I have about one red uh, pappy light. And I can tell I've got no winds, and this is how you should practice it. There's my red pappy light. I'm aligning with the runway. And you should practice this without winds until you're comfortable with it and then turn the winds back on. Okay, there's two red pappy lights. I'm going to add a bit of power. At this point, my airspeed can get down between 60 and 65, which is where it is. So I'm good on airspeed. Back to one pappy light. And coming in. Okay, here's where you do a final adjustment of the alignment and slowly pull the power back to idle slowly raising the nose no hurry to land okay and here we go power is idle and just let the nose and the airplane come down okay and we're there okay so that's a pattern, and I'm going to go ahead and let stop the rolling, put a break on, okay, and say thank you very much for watching my YouTube channel, and I hope you enjoyed uh, this flight. Stay tuned for more in this Diamond DA-20.